Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to talk about route summarization. So what is route summarization? Well, we know that route tables can have many routes in them. You can have connected subnets put into your route table. You can have static routes. And then you can have routes learned from other routers via a routing protocol like RIP or EIGRP, for example. So you can have many routes and Route summarization is when you take many routes that have something in common and you represent them all with one single route. So you're kind of condensing a large group of routes behind one single route and then you use that one single route instead of using all of the individual ones. Okay, So it's like representing a larger pool just by the use of one route. There are some benefits to doing this. Um, the first one is it shrinks the size of the routing table. So if I have 50 routes and I'm advertising all 50 routes to you, well, you know, that's not maybe the biggest deal. But what if I have 5,000 routes? Well, if I go ahead and I use route summarization, perhaps I shrink the 50 down to 1, or perhaps I shrink the 5,000 down to 1,000. So shrinking the size of the route table is one benefit, and related to that benefit is, by doing that, you improve the speed sometimes of the routing lookups. Because the route table is not as big, the router can more easily find the best match in the table if there are less routes. So those are two benefits of using route summarization. And really there are two ways in order to go about summarizing routes. The first way is the manual summarization, meaning you as a network administrator, you are given the ability to log into the router and to actually configure manually how you want summarization to work. The other way is auto summarization, and that's when the summarization is performed by the routing pro protocol itself, and that's usually done along classful networks, so there are some restrictions there with auto summarization. The manual approach gives you, the engineer, a lot more control over what routes to summarize and how you want to summarize them, whereas the auto summarization doesn't give you as much control and it's usually done along classful network lines as I mentioned. Now each routing protocol has its own options regarding summarization. They're not all the same so keep that in mind when you're looking into a particular routing protocol that you're using or you may want to use in order to implement a network design. Okay so actually let's take just a quick example to illustrate what summarization might look like. We'll use these two routers to illustrate route summarization. Keep in mind, in, in real life examples, it's more complicated than this. But here we just have router B and router A. Router A just has a single network on it, and router B has actually these five networks on it. So the advertisement, let's say in a routing protocol, router A would send to router B, is just going to be this one route here. However, router B has these five. And let's say for whatever reasons we wanted to consolidate them. We wanted to summarize them to just one advertisement. So what we could do is instead of advertising all five of these, we can summarize them like this. 192, 168, 1.0, slash 24. This network encompasses all five of these. So now router B could send out an update to router A with just this one as opposed to all five of these. So keep in mind this does mean that you need to have a pretty solid grasp of IP addressing and subnetting. So if you haven't yet checked out those tutorials, definitely make a point of doing it. Um, as you've probably noticed in routing protocols and especially in summarization, you need to know your IP addressing. Okay, so that is route summarization. Thanks for watching.